What's up guys? Today I'll be showing you how to measure accurate distances using Google Maps. Now with Google Maps you can measure accurate distance between two different places and you can do this very precisely. Now obviously you can get estimates when you're getting directions to a place but if you want extremely accurate distance between two specific locations either on a road or on a trail maybe you're looking for how much distance you need to go with a boat from one location to another you can do that precisely using Google Maps. Now the only downside to this is that you have to use Google Maps on a desktop. You cannot do this on the mobile interface. So go to your computer and go to your favorite browser and go to maps.google.com. You should land on a page like this. So what you wanna do is find the place whose distance you want to measure. For instance, I'll go straight and try to your place. It's a place I like to go to cycle. So let's use that as an example. So that's Tiger Place. And let's, for instance, measure the distance between Tiger Place and the this place, Matasia bus stop. So what you want to do is go to where you want to start measuring from. There you go. So put your mouse right there and then right click and select measure distance. Now once you do that, you should find that little pointer. And from here, you can go ahead and choose a straight line and then left click and place another pointer there and then go ahead and choose up to there and then choose there. You're looking for little straight lines that you can get the exact accurate distance. And every time you click, it's going to add the distance. So you can see the cumulative distance as you keep measuring. So I measured there, then there, and then I'll go all the way there. No, that's not accurate. So let's drag it back to there, and then there. And we're just trying to keep the measurements on the road. And then keep doing that, just keep doing that all the way and then we have a little junction here, so I'll just put it in the middle of the junction. And then from here, it's relatively a straight line all the way to Matasia bus stop. And once I'm there, I can be able to see how I've plotted my route and the distances between the two different points. And then the total will be shown right at the bottom there. So in the end, it's 1.47 miles or 2.36 kilometers from our start location to our stop location. So that's how to measure accurate distance. Now you can also use Google Maps to measure distance and eventually calculate the area of a place using Google Maps. This is extremely fascinating and you can do this even in satellite mode. So let's go to satellite mode and to give you uh, the satellite location. So what I wanna do now is measure the area of the playing field of Eno Matasiani Secondary School which is a school nearby to where I live. Let's say I want to measure the area of that particular school. So this is a school on the map. So I'm just gonna zoom in as much as I can until I can see the playing field itself. So here's Enomatasiani Secondary School. This is the administration block and that's the rest of the school. This one outside here is a tarmac road heading to the school. This is the entrance of the school. And this is a playing field from around here going all the way this way. So let's try and measure the area of the playing field. So what I'll do now is I'll put my mouse cursor in one of the corners of that field and then right click and select measure distance. And then I'll go to another corner. It will give me that distance, another corner another corner, there you go, and I'll measure that as well, and then I'll come to up to somewhere here, and then I'll go straight, I'm just trying to avoid this particular security block, so then I'll go there, and then I'll go to the extreme corner, and then I'll come back here, go slightly to the left, go back up, and then finish this off by clicking that again and as you can see we have now captured the entire area of the playing field and at the bottom there I should be able to now see 
the total distance first of all which is the distance from here all the way back here which is 526.11 meters or 1726 feet but it also calculated the entire area which is 144,249 square feet or 13,401 square meters of course if you want that area in hectares or acres you can use any of the online free converters to convert that but google maps gives you in square feet and square meters and that's how you can calculate accurate distance and accurate area using google maps thanks for watching and good luck